Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a Grotmas speculation video. Another one. Uh, I wanted to do the Necrons, and if I'm being honest, I figured other dedicated Necron channels would do it, so I wasn't going to. But uh, we're getting pretty close to the first, so I might as well be the first that I've seen. Uh, to throw my hat in the ring for this. That's not like a, ooh, gotta get there first kind of thing. But just, I don't know, I feel like it's a fun topic. And I haven't really seen anybody speculate on it. Now, if you do know somebody else's video that has speculated on it, please, uh, let me know. Uh, YouTube doesn't like links in the comments, though. So, I guess just let me know. Uh, but yeah. There's Grotmas. GW said, from the 1st until the 24th of December, we will be delivering new detachments for each and every faction in Warhammer 40,000. So, let's go through uh, both the past and the present to see what might come into the future. So, yeah. First, went over the Dynastic Codes, looking at the 9th edition. Because they tend to, you know, keep some detachments coming and going and so on and so forth. But they all also focus a lot on keywords and shit this edition. So, just wanted to go through. First, you have Mifrit Sol Solar Fury. Um, add three to the range. Characteristic of ranged weapons exclude pistols. Then models with this code are equipped with. Each time a model with this code makes a ranged attack. Units within half range. AP plus one. And protocol events for star becomes active for your enemy or your army. If this unit in your army has this code, you just like both of that command protocols, directives instead of just one. Excluding Dynastic Agent and Catan Shard units. Um, so, really, there's some command protocols that I'm not going to go through, like, all of them. Because this has been, like, straight away from, pretty much completely, I guess. Um, all the protocols got wrapped into... Awaken Dynasty, so don't really need to go through that. But as for if Mefret can be in this edition, it can be, but I don't think it will be. Um, I don't think they're going to go with a ranged detachment for Necrons because I don't think it would be needed. Like, Really, yeah, all the, I say that because, like, look, all the weapons, all the ranged weapons, most of the ranged weapons for Necrons already hit across the table damn near, right? We're talking, like, 36, 48, 72 inch type shit. Um, and then if not, maybe your Titanic, backslash, aircraft. And it doesn't, it wouldn't really do anything to make more range things, especially when, well, we'll go down here and to this order, right? Nefric exists, uh, with the fact of Hypercrypt Legion, where you can put your shit where you want to. With Nefric, uh, models with this code have a 6 up and vulnerable save. Each time a unit with this code advances, it can translocate. If it does, now make an advance roll instead. Until the end of phase, add 6 to the move characteristic. Um, can't shoot after. Each time a unit with this code falls back or translocates until the end of phase, models in that unit can move across models and terrain as if they were not there. Um, sudden protocol. I'm just going to ignore the protocols just moving forward because they're wrapped up into oh, like a dinosaur thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't really see why they would add a shooting detachment if you have one. I mean, I mean, clearly they did it here, right? But it is different now, where it's like, you can go wherever the fuck on the board, versus, you know, plus six and six. So, eh, I don't know. But, it's not necessarily covered already, per se, so maybe. Um, I guess I might as well keep going this way instead of going up. Uh, Nihilac. Units with this code have objective security ability, if a model is such a unit... Uh, already has this ability. That model counts as one additional model when determining control of an objective marker. 
Each time an attack with an AP characteristic of 1 is allocated to a model with its code. If that model's unit is wholly within the controller's deployment zone, it is AP0 instead, skipping the protocol. Now, this is kind of Canoptic Court. I can't see them doing another way, such as how they have with Outlander Claw, or kind of, uh... Yeah, just, just Outlander Claw at the top of my... My data bank. Um, yeah. Can't really think of them doing another, hey, you could get objective control on your shit type of situation for Necrons, but that would be interesting considering there's the Catacomb Command Bars and you could Silver Tide it with a bunch of Battle Line. So I guess you could, like, straight up. Just control everything with a fuck ton of models. If they were to do that, I can't see them doing another Canaptic Court zone control backslash objective market control. Eh, maybe not. Novak. Awakened by murder, had one of the charge rolls made for it. This code each time a model with this code makes a melee attack. If that unit, if that model's unit made a charge move, was charged or performed a heroic intervention this turn, improve the AP characteristic of that attack by one. This is Annihilation Legion, but it is better than what current Annihilation Legion is, if you ask me. Um, I think Annihilation Legion has a bit more play than we've given credit for after I reviewed it this most recent time, but yeah, th th we already have Awakened um, Annihilation Legion, so don't need to go through there. Sawtech, Relentless Advance. Each time a morale test is taken for a unit with this code, you can re-roll that test. Instead of following the normal rules of rapid-fire weapons, models with this code, shooting rapid-fire weapons make double the number of attacks if the shooting model's target is within 18 inches. Now, there's not that much rapid fire. There is not that much rapid fire. Um, there's more than other people's, right? But it isn't, like, such a staple in this edition that they would... I would hope not. I would hope they wouldn't dedicate it just to one detachment. But, then again, Annihilation Legion isn't really great. And they kind of made Nefrek the monolith detachment so i don't know maybe uh it would have to be like rapid fire it would probably in a way have to do something like invasion fleet or dread mob where you could if they did another shooting thing it would have to buff rapid fire maybe lethal hitch maybe sustained in a way then I could see it coming through, but right now, not. And the Zerican Uncanny Artificers. Is it? Do you all say, hold on, this is a D&D &D question, if you play D&D &D as well. Do you say Artificer or Artificer? I need to know. Um, each time a model with this code would lose a wound as a result of a mortal wound. Roll 1d6 on the 5. Hope that wound is not lost. Each time a unit with this code is selected to shoot or fight, you can re-roll one wound roll when making that unit's attacks. Now, again, uh, maybe it's just a name and clicking to my head for that, but they kind of just... This is Obeisance Phalanx, right? Uh, plus 1 to wound versus re-roll one wound roll. They, they kind of... Now, mind you, they completely forgot to give the Silent King uh, the Silent King keyword of Triarch at the beginning. But now that it's fixed, I don't think that they would do a re-roll situation. Like, there are quite a few re-rolls within the Necron Codex, so probably not. But moving on past this, there's another thing that I think they might might do, might incorporate. I think they might do something with Powers of the Catan. Now, you look at this and you go, why would you say that when three of them are on the Tesseract vote? That is true. And we already, like, this isn't a, hey, make it so that 
your whole army does one of the Catan things. But with the focus of Catan, I think we might see a detachment kind of like um like the Dukari's What's the Dukari's one right now? The original Index one. Oh goodness, I'm blanking. But like the Jukari Index Detachment, uh, Renegade Raiders, where it is, you get bonuses for having certain models in your um, army. So I could see them doing something like if you have a Catan Shard of the Deceiver, your army needs to do uh can redeploy even further or something i don't know i just think that something like that could be an interesting thing right because of how this edition has gone so far i just think that would be a cool idea not necessarily the the bee's knees per se but a possibility and then, would you look at that? I brought up another katana. Oh my gosh! Boom, boom, boom. Um, not necessarily in the same vein as that, but I do think looking at what other armies have, uh, I think the Necrons might get a monster backslash vehicle detachment because, as you look at it, there are their support for vehicles and things like uh hypercrypt legion or obeisance phalanx but as far as a detachment that is kind of crusher stampede backslash um soul forge war packy where it's like focus on the big things there are quite a few doomsday weapons in the Necron Codex, that I think it would be cool if they did something with it, and now I remember what I cut from the intro originally, I could see a few things happening with the first detachments for the Grok Miss. I think they either go with the poster child of Space Marines on the first, probably, most likely, right? Either do Orcs because it's Grok Miss, or maybe, uh, assuming they don't do obviously the all the armies that haven't had a codex or a second index backslash index touch up right could also do the necrons why necrons because we're in the pariah nexus and they kind of forgot like jack shit about doing it not from what i remember a book is coming up that should be finally addressing more of the pariah nexus um uh, but they kind of just said hey you're in the pariah nexus now after they said, hey, you're just fighting Leviathan now. Um, and we all know if it's not Space Marines and CSM, it, it'll take forever to see progress on it. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe they remember where they are at the end of the story and they do something like that. That was just my other hat in the ring toss situation on to what order it might come. But you have Doomsday Arcs. You have Katan. It'd be nice if there was a dedicated Crusher Stampede style list. Like, we already have Hyper Thick with the Hyper Crypt Legion. And we have the Canoptic Court for the Canoptic shit. But there isn't really something for other Doom Scythe, the Doomsday Arch. Monolith has Hyper Crypt Legion. Um, but, like, the other shit. Make something for the Test Rec Vault, the Obelisk, to actually... They did bring the Obelisk points down as well, okay? It is 300 and still just fucking garbage. But, you know, I, I that's that's my my call as to what what would be nice. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, as I think I already have for uh, Tyrant Edge, but... Something that focuses on monster and vehicle, so you actually have a... Another reason to just run fucking doomsday weapons besides Hypercrypt Legion. And I guess arguably Obeisance Phalanx, which is, i.e. Silent King and two doomsday arcs. Um, but yeah, something like that. Other thing, Psychomancer. They gotta find a use for it. <laughs> they gotta find a fucking reason for me to take this damn thing. 
So, I think, maybe, just maybe, they do, I really, okay, this is what I mean, right? I don't want them to do a Battleshock thing. Like, they kind of tried half acidly in Annihilation Legion, but... I I don't know. I, I don't know. They need to give me a thing for this to be a thing. And, like, it has, I guess, Awakened Dynasty because it's a character. And I guess it has Crypt, uh, Canoptic Court because it's a Cryptic. But I don't know. I just... It, this model looks coolest, right? Like, why are we... Why is it so ass? <laughs> Why is it so ass? Uh, but hey, every time I say something bad, somebody comes out from the war in the comments like, hey, I love that thing. And then when I say something's great that people don't really love, somebody's like, hey, you suck. So if you are a psycho man or lover, please just put it in the comments now and we'll figure out that shit later. Then the Royal Warden, and I won't even go that far as I just did on the psycho man. So just to say, it isn't, a royal. Alright, so it can't benefit from a base since Phalanx. And I guess it technically makes sense because it itself is not a royal. It is a defender of the royals. Um, Sorry, the nobles, right? It doesn't have the noble keyword. I forgot that's what we're calling it. Um, so it makes sense it's not a noble. But it's kind of, again... I guess if you want to say Awaken Dynasty, but there's no reason for these two. So I was just thinking, like, you gotta give me something for to to use these, maybe? I don't know what that could look like. I don't know. The other thing is, I don't know what Necrons need, right? I could go on the reverse of saying, well, like, in, like with Tyranids, we have pretty much all melee detachments and we need something for shooting and that's why i think a lot of us are like they're they're bringing high fleet chrono so like they they have to right but here it's like all shooting all the time and there is a melee detachment with annihilation legion so it's not necessarily like oh uh oh spaghetti goes I've dropped my spaghetti. Uh oh, I dropped my spaghetti. Sorry, I'm fucking just going down a rabbit hole here in my head. Real, real time, just stupidity. Um, and I'm keeping that in, I guess. But I think when I th would imagine what comes next for Necrons, we have options to silver tie it up in both, both uh, Awakened Dynasty and Canoptic Court. Yeah, 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 go watch that video if you uh, are surprised by me saying that. Um, but, you know, and I guess technically Annihilation Legion too, with a fucking bunch of flayed ones and Scorpex. But, um, I think, I think there needs to be a, a heavy one. Uh, so I guess, before I continue convincing myself of what I, what I would like, tell me what you think might be coming for Necrons. Again, surprise that I'm not seeing a lot of discussion on that. And it's coming around the corner when she comes. So yeah, if you like the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, peace out my monstrosities.